guys makeup side here welcome back to my channel and i am starting out with this uh face brush this is the one that spins and it's a little one and it's a big one um i use the big one of course um and it spins of course <laughs> and i have this one i got from walmart that was five dollars and the other one was eight and i'm starting out with this apricot apricot <laughs> scrub for my face i always use it just to exfoliate um and of course i use this exfoliator probably about three times a week mainly when i have when i take it off my makeup or before i apply my makeup whichever way but today i am using it because i haven't exfoliated in a while um so yeah and then once I rub it in with my hands, I use a face uh, brush to go in and scrub away that, you know, all that gook and stuff, as you guys can see here. And, um, yeah, I rinse it off. Um, I don't use any tile towels, a towel <laughs> to wash off my face. I just use my hands and warm water. Of course, I use a towel to dry away, but that's about it. Okay, so right now I am getting ready to use Noxzema Classic Cream. And I love Noxzema. I'm pretty sure everyone heard of Noxzema before. But me personally, I love to use it because it leaves my skin feeling soft and smooth. And it doesn't dry out your skin like most products does. Like most, um, you know, the um, cleansing creams, it literally dries your skin out. This doesn't. And it tingles. So it's like, it makes me feel like it's getting deep into my pores and cleaning it. So... I don't know I just love it and after I you know wash it or clean it and all that stuff I leave it on for about five minutes just so it can set in and get in deep into those pores and right now I'm turning up Millie Rock ow, ow, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so yeah we're gonna leave this on and then you know we'll be back Okay, so this is just witch hazel, and I put it, put this witch hazel, which is T.M. Dixon witch hazel, and I put it in this uh, Mario Badescu bottle, so no worries, this is not that. This is actually the real deal. This is the rose water with the herbs and um, aloe in it. So first things first, I sprayed this one, because this is the one that's, I feel it's more powerful, so... Don't rub it in yet, just leave it like that. And then I put on the aloe that much. And then I rub it all in. Now I do this twice a day, mm, sometimes. I think in the beginning of my skincare journey, I did. I was doing it twice a day, one in the morning and one at night, which became like a pattern, like a everyday thing like i was waking up boom, doing this and letting this sit i didn't i just left it like that left my face like looking wet and i let it dry all my lotion i incorporated this because i use this for like these little bumps like those and like i break out right here and here and sometimes on my sides but you can't tell because i did the calamine treatment for about three days where um, calamine lotion is specifically for like poison ivy and poison and stuff like that but and it's, it's skin protected but I use this specifically for like clearing up dark spots I had real bad dark spots on my forehead this clears up dark spots um, and um, any type of rashes that you may have any type of eczema on your face that you have it definitely gets the job done and you just let it dry like you put it on it's like a, let me show you I'm just gonna like drop it in the sink as you can see, it's like pretty watery, so you don't really need a lot. And um, you let it sit on your face and let it dry, and then you wash it off with like a mouth soap or with just plain hot water. Boom, I use, this is shea butter. This is the African guy, but uh, honestly, I use this. It has a smell to this one. This was pretty much almost gone, but this has a scent. Um, I think the scent is 
JP Galatier, I think. I don't know. But um on the on the label right here, the wording, it says moisturizing, revitalizing, and protects the skin. Excellent for eczema and diaper rashes. It's high it's high content of vitamin A, E, and F. Vitamin E oil is the best for your skin. I mean, lips, skin, anything that breaks out, vitamin E oil, vitamin E cream will get you right together. So the fact that it has this in here is... And then um, it also improves the elasticity of your skin. So like the tightness and stuff like that, get it back popping. Um, but you massage to your skin to aid in relieving muscle tension as well. So yeah, now that my the aloe vera gel is pretty much dry, we're gonna go ahead and put some of this on. I'm not putting it down here. I'm just gonna put it on the rest of my face. But um, I just take a little because you don't really need a lot. Sometimes I even put my Nivea lotion on because it has um the same kind of like corresponding things to help your face clear up. And this stuff gives you that extra glow i said i wasn't gonna put it down here but it's here now so ooh, might as well rub it out but yes simple easy and you in order to see results in your skincare regimen you have to be consistent don't expect for this to just oh magically work out of the blue it's just not gonna work like that sis i'm sorry to be the one to bear the bad news that you have to be consistent but consistency is key 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 major key okay so don't just use it one day two days and then you just say this ain't working for my skin i don't know why she told us to use this and it don't work sis i told you to be consistent it's up to you <laughs> but anyways <laughs> So yes, I use these products. I feel like they work for me. I already so told you guys disclaimer at the beginning of this video. Um, some of these products may not work for you. You may you have tried it, but I'm telling you, if you stick to it, it will work. I've helped so many people's skins. I'll try to see if my sisters are giving me pictures of their skin, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you. <laughs> so yes, I pretty much put in all natural products. These products, I'm just scratching my eyes. But yes, all natural products. I hope this works for you and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below your skincare regimen and if you use any of these products and how it worked for you. I will answer any questions that you have about skincare, any things that you just didn't really get or if it didn't work for you or whatever. Anything. Comment below. I love hearing y'all feedback as I always mention on all my videos. Comment, comment, comment. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Goodness, I just helped you out. Help me out. Help me help you so you can help me. If that makes sense. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. As always, see you on the next video. Bye.